Hello and welcome to MyCADSite.com and this video is going to show you some of the things that I talk about in tutorial 3-7a and we're going to look at extruding along a path and doing a uh, extrude with a taper and then we're going to have a look at the loft command so first thing we're going to do is extrude a circle along this path and as you can see it's a single polyline and I've already drawn it it's uh, 120 units along 120 up over and back down and we're going to extrude a circle along it and this might be used a lot say when you're working with uh, piping for example and you just need to get a 3d model of a pipe so here's how you do it start the circle command I'm just going to draw it on this end and I'm going to put in a radius of 6 and so now you can see that there it is on the path but I can't extrude it because it's not really pointing in the right direction it's pointing straight at me whereas I want it pointing to the right so what I need to do is the rotate 3d command so I select the object and then I select the axis I want to rotate it along which is the y-axis point on the y-axis is right here and my angle will be 90 degrees and so I flipped it on its side and you can see that it's right on the edge there ready to be extruded along this path so I just start the extrude command and select the objects kind of tough here with the uh, command line getting in the way but now I need to uh, press enter and select the P option for path so now I select my path and you see right away it's just gone and extruded it right along the path and there we go so if I go into a 3d orbit here just to have a quick look at it you can see that it basically looks like a uh, section of piping that could easily be used uh, in a mechanical drawing so that is uh, one way of using the extrude along a path and it's pretty straightforward you just get your object to be extruded aligned and then you select your object select your path and away it goes and where you might run into problems is if your circle is for in this example is much too large then it might not have enough space to go around the corners and it might get an error in that area so that's one thing to look for so I'm just going to go back to my top view again and next thing we're going to do is I'm just going to erase this and I'm just going to draw a uh, rectangle Oops. at 100 comma 100 and we'll just go into the southwest view again so I'm going to extrude this and so you can see that I've got these options here and in this case instead of choosing the path option I'm going to choose the taper angle and I'm just going to put in an angle of 45 degrees and put in a height of 50 and there it is there's my extruded rectangle with a taper coming to a point so that's one way of creating a different shape just from a rectangle and just to show you I can do grips so it keeps the same angle up to a certain point see I can't stretch it up past where it gets we'll say cut off but I can lower it and create a different shape there and just while I'm showing you using grips this is uh, just a nice feature of 3D solids being able to maneuver them and work with them the way you want to 
So that is extruding with a taper angle. So just let me get rid of this. I'm going to get back to my top view again. And I'm going to draw another rectangle. And this one is going to be, we'll just say at 20, 20. There we go. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this in place. And rotate it. And my base point is going to be right in the middle here. And I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. And the last thing I want to do is copy it. And just pick a base point and I'm going to copy it at 0, 0, 0, 20 to move it 20 units straight up in the right. And enter gets me out of the command. So now I've got, I should have just moved it. it saves me erasing this one. So what a loft command does is it will create a shape based out of profiles. And we'll consider this a profile and this a profile. So it's two cross sections, two profiles, whatever you want to call them. And I'm just going to start just by showing you how this command works. And I'm going to select one then two. And there we go. And it's done. And now if I go into the 3D orbit and look at it, you can see it's kind of an interesting shape. It's, it's like a twisted cube with curved sides and such. If you look at it from the top there, you can see how it's uh, still uh, looking like that. So I'm just going to undo that and that. And another way you can do that is I'm just going to quickly draw some lines. And I'm just going corner to corner here in 3D space, making sure I've got my O snaps on or else this wouldn't work at all. I'm going to start the loft command again. And I'm going to pick this one and this one. Press enter. And you see I've got some options down here and I'm going to choose guides. So now I'm going to pick the four lines I just drew and press enter. And so now if I go into my 3D orbit command, you can see how it looks pretty much the same, but at least I was able to kind of work within the guidelines and you may find sometimes when you do this command it doesn't work quite as you expect it to so it's good to uh, sometimes use those guides so you can see what's going on so of course if I go to erase this you can see that there's just one object found and it's taken the squares the lines everything and just turned it into a loft object if I list it you can see it's a uh, 3D solid in model space, etc., etc. So that is the loft command. And I'm just going to show you one last thing here. I'm just going to go back to my squares here. Go back to loft. I'm just going to pick these two. Press enter. And another option I have here is settings. And what this will do is bring up a dialog box. And I'm not going to go through these, but you can always try these out and see what uh, different options you can come up with and see how it works. So, anyway, that's a quick look at extruding. This has been mycadsite.com. Check out the website. Uh, level 3 covers all the 3D work. Level 1 and level 2 are 2D, and then I've got level 4. So I've got lots of tutorials, tons of videos. Check it out, and thanks for watching. Bye.